Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my reactions and as you can see I'm going to watch episode 119 of One Piece today. So in this last episode we got to see that Nami was able to defeat Miss Doublefinger by herself, which was pretty cool and I love the fact that it happened, because it's going to be a big confidence boost to Nami and she's going to be way more helpful right now with this new weapon and I can't wait to see more of these techniques and how exactly she's going to uh, improve by using it and uh, which new kind of techniques she's going to uh, to create as well because in the end it's going to be uh, up to her and how she uses it so yeah it's going to be really nice to see when it happens right now I'm just happy that she's um, at least uh, not entirely okay but she's fine and at least she managed to, to defeat uh, Miss Doublefinger even though she's a bit hurt uh, but yeah hopefully she recovers and she will be able to um, uh, like help in this situation with Crocodile, uh, but we'll see what happens. Right now we still have Zoro with this fight uh, against Mr. One, and that one is probably going to be really interesting as well because it's really going to to test him, and he's going to be able to um, is going to need to be able to cut steel because this guy is just really hard uh, and like literally. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm definitely excited to watch this new episode. So I hope you guys are ready and let's start it. But a lot was accomplished already. They already defeated a lot of these agents, which is really nice. I also love the way Nami defeated Miss Doublefinger. That technique was really cool. And at the start it looked like it was going to fail, but... Damn. Her foot though. <laughs> at, this. at this moment I wasn't expecting it to work, but that's apparently how it works. It doesn't create a tornado, it makes the enemy the tornado, so... That's pretty awesome. But again, she needs to be at close range to use it, so... I don't know if she's going to figure another way to use it, but we'll see. Yeah, in the end it worked. Even with all of those surprises. Let's see it happen. Damn. Well. There's always a first time for everything. Yeah, he probably never faced uh, Okai. Pretty sure that guy would be able to defeat this one with ease. Uh, 
Damn. Zoro still needs to be careful because he's not hard like this guy is, so he can't get hit. Damn. I love this dance. Oh, it's that skill. Usually defeats his enemies with it. Oh. The finisher. That was nice, but probably not enough. Yep. It's going to take a lot more than that. I wonder which kind of weakness can be exploited on this guy. Yeah. Previous times he used that technique, he defeated the, his enemy, so... Oh! Figure something. Hmm... Holy... Damn... I wonder about that... What Zoro mentioned... Hopefully he's okay... Damn. Oh my god. That's really bad. That was his arm. That was... Hmm. 
And let's go in. Damn, he's lifting that. Holy shit. And I mean, he's been lifting some really heavy things, so... That's paying off right now. I really hope that Zoro is able to do something new. In the end, it's, it's really going to depend on him. Hmm. There's definitely a meaning behind of that. Ooh. He's really fast right now. Oh. Was he able to scratch him? Hmm. Yeah. Oh my god, you can't do this. An excavator. <laughs> yeah, that's a, a way to put it. You need to be careful with the swords. Holy... He's getting really injured. Oh my god. Damn, this is so bad. Yeah, I'm getting those vibes, to be honest. When he got... ...beat by... ...Hawkeye. Or Mihawk, I don't know exactly how to call him. Yeah, both names.
Holy. He just needs to stop. I can't believe that Zoro is going to die in this episode. He can't die here. This is really bad. Still standing. Yeah, we know that Zoro... It's really hard to bring Zoro down. That's for sure. Damn. He was able to cut them. Hmm, I don't know if he was able to cut stones, but in that situation... Hmm... That moment... Hmm. So, yeah, I'm getting the idea. Depends on the way he uses it. Depending on which thing he has to cut. I don't know if the rhythm is like implying the the rates of his attacks, like the speed. Ooh. And he can't cut that. Yeah, this is something totally new. You're probably about to be at least scratched. He needs to do it now. Lion Strike. Damn, they didn't show it happening. 
So was he able to do it? Damn. He did it. Yep, something definitely changed in this fight. This is probably a turning point for Zoro as well. In terms of development. Who knows? <laughs> of course. He just needed that one attack. It's always so painful to see how injured he becomes in all of these situations. But at least he manages to do it. Damn, that's really nice. At least everyone is winning their fights, but this one with Zoro was probably the most tense so far. He was like just getting uh, countered really hard uh, by this guy because he wasn't able to cut uh, steel. But it's like he, he was remembering some things that his master uh, mentioned before. Like, um, like some people aren't able to cut, uh, uh, like uh, they're able to cut nothing and still, um, not at the same time, but yeah, it's like the way he mentioned it. And it really gave me the idea that um, like uh, Zoro is able to change, uh, not his swords entirely, but is able to like... Um, do like things in a different way uh, with the sword uh, so he can cut different things and like it's really hard for me to explain this but we could see that uh, when he like uh, figured the rhythm of the steel on uh, this guy's body Mr. One's body uh, he couldn't cut those leaves so that really implied that um, once he gets the rhythm of a specific material uh, he's able to change his sword in a way that uh, enables him to cut that material so it's a, a really interesting mechanic and i really hope that they explain it a bit better soon because it's still not really clear and i like while i have the idea of uh, how it works and it's pretty cool uh, i still don't like um have like a lot of details about it it was uh, like the first time i've seen zoro doing something like this it's something that he probably and uh, not probably it's something that he realized during this fight and like I said, this is probably going to be uh, like um, a turn in this development. It's probably going to uh, propel himself uh, to, to a different level in terms of uh, strength. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be really nice to see uh, how exactly he develops this power and how he, like how strong is going to be uh, or how strong is going to become uh, by using or by learning this new technique. Uh, but yeah, it's something to realize at some point. Right now, uh, he really needs to recover. And it's like I said, like every time we see Zoro fighting uh, against his opponents, they are like really strong ones. And he ends, he ends up uh, being really injured uh, by the end of the fight. So even though uh, like normally he's able to beat his, uh, these enemies, uh, it still comes at a really high cost. So hopefully uh, he manages to rest for a while right now because... He's really badly injured, he got all of those cuts, and uh, also, like, that weapon out of Mr. One that started spinning, uh, it really did uh, a lot of damage on his body. Uh, so yeah, he really needs to rest for now, and I can't wait to see what will happen next. Right now, I believe all of the agents got defeated, so it's only Crocodile and um, Miss All Sunday left, but Miss All Sunday is like a, a different case, because right now I'm not too sure of what their intentions are but yeah hopefully they will um, explain a lot of this in these next episodes i feel like um, i'm not too sure how far we are from the end of this arc but right now there's like there seems to be uh, only crocodile as their enemies they still need to stop this ship from firing that cannon though because it's uh, supposed to be firing uh, in uh, like half an hour or at least in the last episode it was that time uh, and they can't uh, allow that to hit this, uh, this place because it will blow the entire place up. Uh, so yeah, either way, we'll see what happens. I'm really loving this story uh, so far. This arc has been really intense and we keep seeing a lot of uh, 
uh, development uh, on these characters, like with Nami, we saw that um, she now has a new weapon, so we are going to see a lot of new things out of her, and she's going to be a lot more helpful in these fights at least. And uh, also with Zoro, we saw how he was able to figure out this power, and he is now able to cut steel, which is pretty sick, and I really hope that um, we get to see a lot more of these guys, and to see like um, more of these powers that they discover and how exactly they're going to improve them. Uh, so yeah, either way, I really can't wait to watch this next episode to see what happens. So I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. So take care, guys.